Being here at Joffrey's, knowing that her last touch of freedom was really here, how does that make you feel, being here nine years later? In nine years, I have never done an interview here. Where your daughter, Maitrice Richardson, was arrested for allegedly not paying her dinner bill. What happened to her? A couple of officers came out mm -hmm. at a call that was dispatched from Jeffrey's restaurant mm -hmm. that there was a lady acting strange. They asked her some questions. Mm -hmm. One of the officers said, oh, she's nuts. Sign number one. Take her to go get evaluation. Mm -hmm. Didn't do that. Example number two, he asked, have she ever been evaluated with a psych eval? Okay. So he knew that the way she was acting. She needed to be evaluated, not, yeah. So he did a field sobriety test. She mm -hmm. passed. The other officer decided, I need to do a hard book because I can't pinpoint what's going on. So they took her purse, her cell phone, her money, put it in the trunk of her car, had her car impounded, and took her to Lost Hills Station. Her mother says, hey, look, are you guys going to release her? i come get her now, or she going to stay there? Right. Sheriff says, you know what? We normally let our prisoners out at 6 a.m., so she's going to be here. She's safe. Mother says, you know what, have her call me, let me know she's safe. My daughter never called. Mm. Three, around two o'clock, three o'clock, her mother called back, crying, upset, like I haven't heard from my daughter yet. What's going on? Mm -hmm. This dude says, oh, I'm looking at her right now. She's in the cell sleep. Mm. But she was released at 12.33 a.m. Mm. in the morning in the middle of the wilderness of Malibu. So we're doing searches, we're doing everything we can. Finally, Libaka authorizes what they considered the second largest in California history to look for my daughter. They call scuba divers, airdroppers, helicopters, sandmobiles, the whole nine yards. It looked great. When my daughter was found eight months later, she was found a half a mile out of the 27 mile square footage that wow. they authorized coverage for. And if I'm not mistaken, when her body was found, she was partially mummified? She was partially mummified. Bra and was, was not was on nude? the frame of her body. The bra was over here. Her panties was over here. Then they did something so unacceptable that had never been heard before. The sheriffs, scooped up my daughter remains, put them in a plastic bag, put them on a helicopter and left. Against the county coroner's directive of saying, don't touch nothing, don't move nothing until we get there. When I lost my child, she was 24. The kind of person my daughter is when she was on this planet, mm -hmm. very loving. My child graduated with honor from Cal State in psychology. Mm. Straight A student all her life. Active member of cheerleading. Talk to me about opening her own psychology office mm. for the rainbow community. The system failed, Matrice. Absolutely. 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 Mm. And, and the reason why the system failed my daughter is because of the following. Everything that Maitrice displayed that night was supposed to take her to the nearest hospital. Instead, you took her to the nearby Lost Hill Sheriff Station. And then you felt like we're not going to take her payment from her grandmother. You told her mother she was not going to be released until the next morning. You hid the video surveillance of her release. You transferred the officer Ishmael Rodriguez to the El Segundo Inglewood area. Mm. You rearranged the whole Lost Hills Sheriff Station that involved my trees. Mm. You retired Captain Martin, who for six months said there was no video surveillance. Oh, wow. You retired him with honors, brought him back as a consultant. 
this man now oversees the same very case that he's covering up. Wow. Just hearing this story and just knowing what happens inside of the jails and inside the prisons, it's... That's why you need reform. That's exactly. why we need you guys on these cases because they really want to sit here and tell us some shit that they think and they ain't going to get mad because we don't want to believe it. Right. Yeah, no, that's that's the importance of the, the ballot initiative to be able to, you know, subpoena, you know, a uh, video and to be able to be interview the folks who were moved away and, you know, get our own independent right. uh, uh, folks looking into cases like because this. under my tree's case, they had an office of independent review. And I'm like, how independent can you be when you're getting a check from the very people you're supposed to be investigating? L.A. County is trying to build two new jails. Right. At a cost of $3.5 billion. Got it. One of the jails they want to build in Lancaster, which yeah. is an hour and a half away from LA mm -hmm. in a secluded like area, kind of like the jail where Matrice was. Right. And the county thinks that this is okay. Right? Right. Matrice passing away and everybody else that's been passing away in the jail lets us know that this is not okay. Right? <laughs> Women do not need to be out in far secluded areas such as Malibu, Lancaster, uh, uh, all these secluded areas where they're trying to build jails, right? Absolutely. When you think about that, how does that make you feel? Well, first of all, building more jails, hiring more police officers for crimes that's not even statistically measuring up. Mm -hmm and justifying the need for more jails, the need for more police officers tells me something. Mm -hmm. What it tells me is, by any means necessary, these police are to go out here and recruit new prisoners mm -hmm. by any means necessary. The new jail that they're trying to build, I don't want there to be any more you know, family members going through what you're going through Absolutely right now. Absolutely not.